Okay, guys, forgive the noise. Um, I have a vehicle here running so that I could basically use the vehicle as a battery. Anyway, so my scanner light still works. Uh, and actually, most of the vehicle lights themselves work, uh, including the pop-up headlights. So I do have my headlights still. As you can see, I will go ahead and do it. Um, just film this video up for YouTube. So that folks who are wondering can see that I am still moving forward on this. So yeah, headlights work. That one sticks sometimes. There it goes. So might need to get the rebuild kit on that. So anyway, here we go. Here's the car for the most part. Definitely seen better days thanks to, you know, leaky T-tops and sitting for quite some time this is the biggest cause of concern is i've got a little hole there it's not really little it's it's kind of big let's just be honest um and then of course the t-top section is the worst part of the whole deal here as you can see it's starting to separate it's definitely a, a really big issue so and obviously that lip doesn't exist anymore more than likely to save this car, I'm going to have to basically either cut in a new roof, have somebody do it, or start from scratch with a new car. Um, so right now the goal is to just get the car home to my house. This is actually, I'm actually at my mom's, so this car's been here for quite a while. So if I can get it home... I can actually start really digging into diving into the separation of the car. Like start taking it apart. Um, which is really what it needs. It needs to just be taken all the way down and full restoration. So uh, this is a V6 car. Um, I don't believe it was a Trans Am, but it has all of the Trans Am stuff on it because it was a conversion when I got it originally. So this is my first car. Um, if we restore it, which I hope we do, since it was my first car, I would like to put in an LS6 or LS1 and just kind of drive it like it would be a factory mod resto with, you know, as close as I can get it to be with just like a stock motor, stock T56, nice Moser 12 bolt or something like that. Something nice for the rear so that I know that it's got some longevity. Anyway, you can tell she's in pretty bad shape. Um, the T-tops are a little bit worse than I thought they were actually because now I'm starting to find rust up here too. Like I said, it might even be easier to just start with a new shell. A lot of guys telling me that I can definitely save this still, but if I do, it's going to be a lot of work. Anyway, 2.8 liter. Uh, man, I've run this thing all over the country. Um, twice, actually. So, it's been really, really uh, reliable. You see my kit light still works. So, it's really fun. Um, anyway. That's where I'm at with this car. It definitely needs more than a little love, we'll say. Um, so, yeah, we'll get into uh, tearing it apart here soon. Um, taking everything off of it. Doing what we can to save the little pieces that we can. And for the most part, you know, junking what I can't use. Um, this hood's not really in the greatest shape. The, obviously, the hinges are not really great. The door hinges, obviously, on all of these cars are just junk because the doors are so heavy. Um, wheels are obviously need to be redone, but they're, you know, send that out to a wheel shop and get them fresh and new. Uh, I have the kit nose in that garage there. So that's just a factory nose I cut out when I was, you know, a teenager. So anyway, there we go. That's the car as it sits right this minute. Um, looking to try and get moving on this car sooner rather than later because, I mean, winter's coming soon and I'd really like to be diving into either cutting in new T-tops or, you know, getting a new roof put in, you know, sooner the better. 
then I can uh, like tear the car. I want to make sure that I can tear the carpet out first to make sure the floors are still good. Um, but for the most part, she's pretty solid underneath as far as I've seen. Um, been sitting here for a long time and then sat in another passenger for a while. I really hate that I, you know, I was so young with this car and you know, if I'd have just had a garage or something proper to put it in, it would have never gotten this far bad out of shape. It would have been, you know, I, I got it. It was a Georgia car with no rust. I mean, none. It had no rust in it at all. And it was a fantastic car. You know, not, it was never fast, but it was, you know, um, yeah. Anyway, this is, this is how she sits right now. We can go ahead and take a look at her and, uh, be working on it soon. I keep calling it a her, but it's like a kit conversion. I, whatever. Um, thanks for following along. Stay tuned. We'll go ahead and uh, end the video here, and I'll post another one later when we start really diving into fixing it up.